Alright guys, it's time to get to work on my game. The first thing I'm gonna do is look at some feedback. So, uh, H... 8UD HSI said the player movement is missing something. Maybe I like a dash ability or something. Also, I'm guessing already have this plan, but add some more enemies and weapons. And he is right. The player movement is definitely missing something. I'm going to add that dash ability. So let's get going. Right, guys, this took me a ridiculously long time to figure out. Don't ask why. But um, anyway, well, you can dash now. If you hold down space, you go twice as fast as you originally would. Probably going to add a time limit to this. But I mean, hey, for now, it works. So like here's when you're, so right here you're walking normally and then zoom in. So on, and then you just zoom. So that's all, that's all I have time for today. So I'm gonna have to talk to you guys. Oh, darn. Okay guys, so after eating some breakfast, it's time to get to work on my game. So another piece of feedback I got was from Curl and Win. Win. He said he's not very good at making games, so maybe you could add some new enemies. I think it'd be a little boring if there was only one bad guy to fight, and he's completely right. So we're gonna add some new enemies today. As always, I opened up GIMP. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Alright guys, so I got a notebook, it's full of ideas for this game. We have some enemy ideas, tile sets, and some new weapons. But, um, but, uh, first let's get started on the new enemy. So, um, First one I wanted to work on was the French Fry BI agent. He, he's just, he's basically just a turret. But uh, yeah, let, let's get to work. First thing we have to do is unleash my amazing drawing skills. So, you, so French fries are normally yellow, so you just go in here and pick yellow. And then you draw. Wow, look at this guys. We have an amazing drawing. Now we just export this into Unity and we're good to go. All right guys, so I had to leave for school, but when I got back, I loaded him into the game. He doesn't do much, but he's gonna be like a turret and I just reusing the gun for now, but, he, well, we gotta write, we should better write a script so he can actually shoot stuff at me. So let's get going. All right guys, so I got it. So his gun will rotate towards the player at all times. All times. Watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. But um, anyway. So, uh, well, let's get this bad boy shooting. All right, guys, just like this, we have a brand new enemy who will just shoot at us. Normal tournament. Oh, never mind. And, you know, I mean, I didn't nerf this guy. I mean, he works now, but he's pretty weak. He can't really hurt me. Hey, guys, so I got the French Fry BI agent fixed for real, and I just put together this little test level that I'm not going to be able to beat because I can't do this one-handed. I have, to, I have to record it and do this at the same time, so... Uh, actually, I might be able to. No, I was wrong. But uh, they can shoot at me, and that's all that uh, they work. So I fixed a quick problem where every time the french fry boys shot, they would the screen would shake, but now it only shakes when the player shoots. So that's a big improvement. All right, guys, so I added some sounds and music to my game. This song is from... Is, Ken themes, is Ken's theme from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so... Uh, yeah, that's copyrighted, so that's not going to be in the final game, obviously. Oh, they shouldn't- yeah, they just can't hit me from here. So, um, the ketchup squirts when you shoot it, and then there's an explosion noise whenever you kill an enemy. And I'm not going to be able to defeat these guys with one hand, so, uh, yep. Uh, well, that's the sound. I wanted to add is a chalky milk robot. He's like the tearing up, except he leaves the path of chalky milk behind him wherever he goes. So I'm gonna work on him tomorrow. So then I went to bed. I guess not, because workaholic me cannot handle not doing something. Don't worry guys, because I happen to know the perfect way to draw chalky milk. You just do some lines here, and then you're good. So you take the concept sketch and you just throw it into GIMP. Okay guys, so we have the Chalky Milk sketch in GIMP and now we just have to export it in Unity, get him animated and some other stuff. 
Okay guys, so I finished the Chalky Milk bot. He's not finished yet, and once again, I cannot kill them because I, I have to do this single-handedly. But, um, so he should be, yeah, so he's right there. So, um, he follows the player around, but leaves a trail of chocolate milk behind him, and if you touch the chocolate milk, you will instantly die. But, uh, that's all I have time for today, so I'm gonna have to go hit the sack again. Okay guys, so after I got up and ate some breakfast, way earlier than I normally would, um, I animated the Chalky Milk bot, so he now does a little bob just like everything else in the game, and after 10 seconds is the trail will start evaporating and then um, it clears up I guess, like now, yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's like a snake and you can't touch him or the Chalky Milk, so there's that. Okay guys, I'm going to take a break from working on enemies and I'm going to make a new weapon. So the first one we're going to do is the AK Ketchup 47. Not an AK 47 YouTube, okay? Don't demonetize me! I don't even have enough subscribers to get monetized, so I don't know what I'm screaming about. But anyway, let's get this bad boy into the game. Alright, so I drew it up in Blender, but now it's time for school, so I gotta get going. Alright guys, so um, I added the new weapon into the game. So uh, yeah, I, got, I figured out how to get it working. So um... Yeah, I'm just an idiot and couldn't understand it, but, um, so it's, it shoots very quickly if I can get out of here. Fast enough to show it off. Alright, so, it shoots very quickly, just about like you'd expect it to. So... Yeah, I can't do this with one hand, guys, but we got the new weapon in the game. Okay, guys, so now that we have multiple weapons, we need a way to switch them out, so I'm going to work on that now. All right, guys, I got to go to school now, so I'm going to work on this when I get back. Yep, guys, I'm back from school, and it's time to get to work, so let's get going. Guys, I'm going to take a lunch break, and then I'm going to come go get back to work. So I made some questionable-looking spaghetti and sat down to a romantic dinner for one. <laughs> It's been 15 minutes and it's still trying to convert weapon swap into the wrong folder. So, uh, yay. Guys, there must be something wrong with my computer. I've been waiting for this to load for about 10 minutes now. <laughs> Just got the weapon system working, I think. So, uh, this is fun. See ya. Guys, I, j I just can't get this thing to work. Um, well, uh, I've been working on this for like two hours, but, um, I, I can't get it to work, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll get it working later, I'm just gonna work on something else for now. Guys, so, um, I finally got it working, so, if I can get out of here really quick. If you press 1, you do the pistol, if you press 2, you switch it to the AK-47. And I need to make that thing shoot a bit faster. But, it works, I finally did it. Guys, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on this, if any of you wanna see the code, so, um, first you, um, you... First you put you put in the guns and stuff up here with the public game object, object then you drag it in. Then you set that then you set the default one active but everyone you set to none but every other one isn't active. Then um you just do some quick then you just do some quick code to um like if you press one it'll enable the pistol but disable the AK but dis but but disable the AK forty seven. I'm sorry I'm bad at talking. And then um, if you do the two, it'll enable the AK-47, but disable the pistol. So uh, yeah, there's the code. All right, guys, so up next, I wanted to make a melee weapon. So I made a spatula, and the basic idea was that you could just whack enemies with it. So uh, let's get this bad boy in the game. All right, guys, uh, All right, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take a break. I'll, I'll come back later, probably. But I'm going to take a break. So see you guys later. All right, guys, I couldn't get the spatula to work, so I just made a double barrel straw gun. All right, boys. So uh, I got the jump. I got the straw gun into the game. It's about what you. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect. It shoots slow, but it does a lot of damage. I'm probably gonna make it shoot faster. But um, if we just zoom, shoots slow, but it does a lot of damage. Yeah. All right. We got it. Well, guys, I'm uh, I'm gonna get back to work, and I guess I should work on the particle systems because they don't look too good right now. All right, guys, here's how you make some particles. You draw a circle, then you just make a new layer, hit OK. You drag it to the bottom, 
you hit big brush and then you just color it in. Wow, uh, guys, look, amazing particles. And me. Okay guys, so before I wrap up this devlog, I made a quick weapon pickup system. So, um, if, like, if you run into the weapon, so, um, if I run into the weapon and press E, so, um, if, so if I run into the weapon and press E, it gets disabled and I can just, it's gone and I can, no, wait, E, not, I can pick up the double can. So, uh, the other thing about this, guys, is that, um, so, um, I'm gonna start up, stop uploading a little more free frequently i mean i'm still gonna upload but uh i'm gonna kick it back a week or two because i'm just a kid I've, i don't know i don't think i'm supposed to be working on games full time okay well uh thanks for watching guys and we'll see you guys in two weeks next week bracky's game jam guaranteed though